If you were asked to guess the meal, what would be your guess? I asked this question and no one got the answer. You can share your answer in the comment section and your thoughts. Welcome to the Anna Kitchen. I used kote for this recipe because that was the fish I had available in the house and I needed to fix a quick and delicious dinner for my family. I used lemon to wash the fish. This lemon is going to help to remove the slime and smell that comes due to um, long freezing. You know, frozen fish comes with this slime. So this lemon is going to remove that slime and give you a very neat and shiny fish. I learned this hack from delicious Ami, thanks to her. I never knew lemon could do this work. I will drop the link to that video in the description of this video. There are other fish hacks in that video, so you can check it out. After washing the fish thoroughly, I cut the fish into two and put incisions in it. I cut the fish into two because I'm using the air fryer. You can leave the fish whole if you're using the oven to grill or the local grill. It depends on the one you have. After that cutting, I salted it and kept it aside while I prepared the marinade. For the marinade, I blended red scotch bonnet pepper, ginger, garlic, and onions. I blended it with very little water, and in a separate plate, I added the vegetable oil, paprika, black pepper, and seasoning cube. I added little. Remember, I salted the fish, so I'm not going to add salt in the marinade. If this is your first time of watching my video, thanks for having you around. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment in this video and your comment is going to make us be better and give us more morale. So after preparing the marinade, rub it on the fish, make sure the marinade touches every part of the fish. The incisions I made is so that the um, spice is going to get into the fish and every part of the fish will be sweet. After rubbing the marinade, you can keep it for 15 you keep it for 15 minutes and allow it to stay before you now air fry. I'll grate the carrots along with the fish. Then the yam, going to cut the yam into small fingers in such a way you can just pick it up very easily and you just dip in your sauce and you eat. After cutting, wash, wash the yam neatly, then salt it a bit, then fry. Fry until it's crunchy and fry on medium heat so that the yam can cook gradually and the soft as well soft and crunchy <laughs> try this homemade recipe just use the ingredients you have in the house to make the marinade and you get a very nice and spicy fish note the spice i used I made it child friendly because of my kids so you can add more spice to yours if you so wish after grilling for about 15 minutes 
bring out the carrots then turn the fish and rub the marinade on the other side then put it back in the air fryer to grill for another 15 minutes note the 15 minutes is the timer for grilling fish in the air fryer i'm using fish is ready ready to be served ready to be enjoyed wow this is beautiful fruits i sliced it and we're going to have a very nutritious and balanced diet hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to subscribe to dioma kitchen for more videos thanks for watching